everyone, this is Learn World News with me, your mentor, Lauren. World News, because we're looking at what's going on in the world. Week three, fake news. Fake news is always news because fake news is always being published and can mislead our views of the world. Welcome to week three. Today, as always, there will be some fun facts quizzes. We'll look at fake news. There will be lots of fun activities to do and some extra practice at the end. Let's practice with the fun fact quiz on fake news. How many Americans visited a fake news website in 2016, around a six week period at the time of the presidential election? Is it A, 25% of Americans, B, 5% of Americans, or C, 13% of Americans. You can pause the video while you make your choice. It's A, 25% of Americans visited a fake news website in 2016, around a six week period at the time of the presidential election. So that's a quarter of Americans who visited a fake news website. Fake news is news or stories on the internet that are not true. There are two kinds of fake news. The first kind are false stories that are deliberately published in order to make people believe something untrue. The second kind are stories that may have some truth to them, but they're not completely accurate. It may be easier to think of fake news as misinformation or lies. When people read a fake news article, they do not know the news is fake, and this can be very dangerous. Fake news can shape public opinion by changing what people are thinking, how they view an event, and can change someone's reputation if the fake news article is about them. There's even evidence that fake news has swayed elections. It is increasingly vital that we know how to verify sources and spot fake news or images, which often appear indistinguishable from a reliable source. To make sure you're not caught out by fake news, you can ask yourself. Has a story been reported anywhere else? Have you heard of the organisation that published the story? Does the story sound believable? Here's an example of fake news. This article was published in July 2016 on WTOE5news.com. The site no longer exists, but the fake news may have changed the public's opinion on the Pope and Donald Trump. It was also written just four months before the 2016 US presidential election. So it could have affected who the American public vote for. And now, let's practice. Let's practice with gap fill. Fill in the blanks from the word bank below. The word bank is there to help you. So, 
the first one. Fake news is news or stories on the internet. What do you think the word is? Choose from the word bank below. The word is untrue. Fake news is untrue. News or stories on the internet. Okay, the next one. Fake news can shape public. What do you think the word is? Pause the video while you have a think. It's opinion. Well done. Fake news can shape public opinion. And the last one. You can check whether news is fake by seeing if it is by other sources. It's reported. You can check whether news is fake by seeing if it is reported by other sources. Excellent job. How did you find that? Let's learn by matching. On the left side, there are three headlines. Teenager on trial after refusing to pay fine for feeding a chip to a pigeon. Two-headed sharks found. And camel survives after losing half of its body. But two of these headlines are fake and one of the headlines is real. Which two are fake and which one is real? Match the headline to fake and real on the right side. And pause the video while you make your choice. So the first one, teenager on trial after refusing to pay fine for feeding a chip to a pigeon is real. So, two-headed sharks found is a fake headline and camel survives after losing half of its body is also a fake headline. Well done, that was great. Did you guess which headline was real and which headline was fake? If you did, good job. If you didn't, don't worry. Doesn't it show how easy it is to write a fake news headline? Learning by looking. Can you spot the signs of fake news on the website about crocodiles escaping? Can you spot the signs of a fake news website? The unrealistic article claim, the strange contact details, the strange web address, the jagged image, too much opinion and bias. Look for the signs on the left, in the website on the right. And pause the video while you look. Here are the signs of fake news on this website. The subheading, 6,000 crocodiles have escaped from Newcastle, is an unrealistic article claim. Firstly, 6,000 is a huge number of crocodiles, and there is no Newcastle Zoo with crocodiles. An easy Google search reveals this. Did you see the strange contact details? The phone number is clearly not a real number and 123 Street is not a real address. The email address and the web address has an unfamiliar extension. Extensions like dot .offer and .infonet are suspicious. Familiar extensions of .com and .co.uk are more reliable. 
Also, the image of the crocodile is jagged, a sign of a badly cropped soil. Finally, there's too much opinion and bias. Did you spot the use of awful in the headline and the irresponsible zoo in the first paragraph? Too much opinion is also an indication of fake news. So well done. If you found all of the signs of fake news on the website, great job. If not, don't worry. Feel free to rewind the video and take another look. Learning by drawing. Design your own fake news website page. You can choose from the suggested fake news headlines on the screen and create an image, caption and subheading to go with the headline. To indicate that the website is fake, you could also include a strange sounding web address, unrealistic article claims, a jagged image, lots of opinions and not many facts. So choose from the fake news headlines. Police in Poland rescue man chased by baby hedgehog. Woman with the longest fingernails gets them cut off after 71 years. New planet discovered near Mars. And green pigs found in pig world. Pause the video as you draw. Here is my fake news article. I used the headline, Green Pigs Found in Pig World, and used a strange sounding web address, unrealistic article claims, a jagged image, lots of opinions, and not many facts. Well done. I hope you enjoyed that activity as much as I did. Fun facts quiz. Yay! True or false? A fake news website can spread fake news faster than real news. Is it A, true or B, false? Feel free to pause the video as you choose. It's true! A fake news website can spread fake news faster than real news. An analysis of Facebook news around the 2016 election found that the top 20 fake news stories generated more engagement than the top 20 credible news stories from major news outlets. If you have enjoyed this lesson, please like and subscribe down below for more content. And if you would like some extra practice, you can watch how false news can spread. You can practice with the real or fake news quiz. You can try a reflective activity. Think about the questions. How easy is it to make a fake news article? Why might someone make a fake news article? And how can I avoid being caught out by a fake news article? But, of course, have, do not forget to have fun. Great job, everyone. I hope you've had as much fun as I have. See you soon for the next lesson. I can't wait. Uh -huh.